Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the MaxScript video series. And today we are going to take a look at accessing current selection using a different way. So we have the same scene as you saw in the previous video and we can now make a random selection. So this time I'm just going to use a symbol which is the dollar sign and I'm just going to evaluate it. So if we recall, if we use the keyword selection and, evalu and evaluated that, we also got dollar selection, which means when you have a current selection and you use the keyword dollar or you use the keyword selection, you get the same output, which means if I write the class of dollar is going to print out an object set. And hence I can say dollar dot count. I can also access the first object Second object, I can say print dollars. So we have some similarity between the dollar sign and the selection. But what if you had no selection? So if I print dollar sign, it's give, it gives undefined. But if I print selection, it still gives me dollar selection. And if we go to class of and if we see the class of dollars, it's an undefined class, whereas the class of selection is still an object set. Now, if we get the selection dot count is going to say zero, whereas we say dollars dot count is going to give an error because we are trying to access a property of something which is undefined. So the dollar sign basically gives you the current selected object or a set of objects. And if I was supposed to select a light here and I was supposed to write the dollar sign and evaluate it, it's going to give us free spot. Whereas the selection keyword will give us the selection. And if I have to access the spotlight from the selection keyword, I have to provide it an index. So if I say selection one, then it gives me the spotlight. So if you see, you can use the dollar sign if you would really want to make some small scripts and evaluate it in this scene using the listener window. It will be very much useful there. But if you're writing full-fledged tools, I would recommend you to use the selection keyword. This is because you will have less chances of errors with the selection keyword as you have a specific protocol of selecting any object using the selection keyword. Now, if you see, if I say dollar one, it gives me a different output. Whereas if I say selection one, it gives me the first item in the selection. So this is the basic difference in using the dollar sign and the selection. I would mostly be using dollar signs when I'm using the listener window and I really want to quickly access some properties like dollars dot wire color. And it works, but if in case there is, there are times when I just have nothing in selection and I try to access the property, I'm going to get an error. That is it for the video and thank you so much for watching.